Hello everybody, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today we are playing the Piranha. It is fresh from the factory and it is so much fun to play, I can assure you guys. Sometimes it's getting frustrating because that thing has no armor and no hit points at all, but if you can get an, into a nice backstabbing situation, you will have so, so much fun with that. Now what do we do today? We take the Piranha 1. S. S is only the special variant which came with the collector's pack. So the Piranha 1 is basically the same thing but without the special camo and without the 30% Siebel bonus. We are doing the 12 machine gun approach today and yes I'm going for regular machine guns because uh, they weigh the same as light machine guns and um, I really want to have the DPS. So what I want to do is I want to sneak behind the enemy, I want to be at my uh, max uh, my optimal range of 130 meters, um, something like that and then I want to shoot all of the machine guns into the enemy's back and create everything and destroy the mech very quickly. You will see, especially in the second game, that you can take out an atlas in no time. No time. Uh, we have uh, two ear small lasers in, in the arms and one ear micro laser in the center torso just to um, have a little bit of upfront damage to remove armor before we go in with our machine guns. You do not necessarily need them, but it is uh, nice to have. Um, as you can see, we are only running three tons of ammo, which is kind of on the edge. But as soon as you got magazine capacity unlocked, it shouldn't be an issue. So if you do not feel comfortable with ammo, just take out um, the small lasers and uh, put maybe micro lasers in here, get a little bit more ammo and or just leave the lasers completely and only go down with the machine guns. But yeah, it is a very, very fun build. It shreds. But as you can see, our overall health pool is uh, it's basically not existent. <laughs> you, you do not have any help. And a lot of people are uh, running streaks at the moment, which is an issue because uh, it is day one of the Piranha and uh, people are very aware that those little fish people are scary. Um, for the same reason that it is day one, I did not have uh, too many skill points unlocked. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty empty here. But uh, what I was going for is an auxiliary slot. I want to have my consumable slot uh, because I want to have an artillery strike or an airstrike and a UAV. Uh, the UAV mainly because I want to know if I am, if there's something around me when I'm doing my backstab attempt. If so, just disengage because, you know, no health and all. And uh, artillery strike or airstrike is uh, is really good to to get some damage to the, to the armor and uh, have an easier life to, to crit out the, uh, the inner components. After that, I am definitely going directly going for radar deprivation because as I said, there are a lot of street boats on the battlefield and I want to break line of sight very, very quickly. Therefore, 60% radar deprivation is probably the minimum that I'm going for. After that, it's absolutely up to you. Do You do not need operations. Absolutely not. Uh, because you do not generate heat with, ma with machine guns. Um, jump jets? Nothing in here. Mobility? Yeah, sure. Why, why not? Getting faster to your targets and being able to disengage quickly is a good idea. Survivability? You do not get that much out of it. And if you're getting caught, you're, you're dead anyway. So don't do that. And then firepower. So as I said before, magazine capacity is what you want to go for. And then after that, probably range. Cooldown is not necessary because your machine guns do not benefit from it, but yeah, it is probably only range. And again, that leaves you to a lot of spare skill points that you could invest into operations, into auxiliary. You could go for double strikes, double UAV, um, or again, even more radar deprivation. This is going to be interesting because again, you, you do not need firepower. You do not need survival. All you need is mobility and then utility. And that's very interesting. And that's the build, everybody. Um, I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, as always, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are ready. We have machine guns and we are playing Domination on the Mining Collector. Domination, great. Mining Collector, great, because you can you can do some nice backstabbing shenanigans here. So let's group up with our fellow fish people and get behind the enemies to shred them to pieces. I uh, do not approve of this. Um, sight is not good. It's not good. You, you will. You will end up in a situation where you fight all of the enemies and... Uh, you only have half of the team there. Um, I really want to help out with my artillery strike or air strike that I'm running here. Maybe we can drop that here. Give me a second. Maybe over, over here. No, it is uh, taken already. Okay, never mind. We're gonna settle here for a while until our air strike is ready again. And yeah, this is exactly what I wanted to, wanted to do. Also, also, they are not aware that I'm here. Okay, airstrike is online. I'm gonna drop it right here. We're gonna do it like this. Don't run away. 
All right. <laughs> he is very aware of my situation now. Hello. Okay. That is all. That is all I need. Um, the good thing is that my team already got a kill. And we are getting in. Oh, getting in his back now. Trying to thread him. Noise. And now we disengage again because there's an awesome coming in. Okay, we're running, 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 running. Uh, we set up somewhere. Alpha, we, Alpha. We wait for them to show Alpha. us, uh, show them, uh, no, show us their back. Like this. We get in again, so we, we do the striker. Striker, striker, striker. Hello? Hello? This is good. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, he is only attack. And now it's time to run again. Can I do that? Oh, this guy is dead. Holy crap. Oh, we shouldn't do that. Doing it anyway. Doing it anyway. Come on, buddy. Get wrecked. Oh, we got an assassin. We can't we can challenge the piranha. But the assassin is gonna kill us. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. I got another kill, though. My legs are open. Wide open. Where's the assassin going? <gasps> Where's he going? He's fighting the other guy now. Ah, no, he doesn't. <laughs> Man, I love that thing. It is so damn fun to play, guys. It is so damn... It is super squishy. Don't get me wrong. This is one of the games where I actually survived for a while. And most of the time, I always get just destroyed because people are aware that a lot of piranhas are running around. And they, of course, want to counter them with streaks, with uh, pinpoint damage, and uh, they just wait for an opportunity to pop your torso. Um, but yeah, this is uh, basically how you can avoid it. Um, Come in later, don't go with your team, just set up somewhere and uh, try to, to wait it out until the enemy force gets past you and then go in their bags, get that real quick kill and if you can't get a kill and the enemy is turning around, then run again. Uh, because um, if you get shot, you're dead. You, you basically have one chance to engage. If you, if you get the kill or if you get a good engagement and then disengage again, you're fine. But if the enemy turns around, bam, you just blow up into pieces. It's looking pretty good though. We have 9 and 8 and a lot of enemies are without weapons or with a lot of uh, with a lot of open components already. Not really without weapons, but we, we got to see that those SRMs are done. They are not... Oh, actually. Enemy turns it around now. I mean, the Hunchback is still in a good shape and the Bushwhacker is not and again the Maddock is not. So, we can definitely do that. Good. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. There's a Mad Dog in Charlie 4. He's running SRMs, but has lost half of his tours already. Um, center torso is crit. So is he, is he crit? No, just SRM. Just go for the Mad Dog first. He's super squishy. Yeah, oh. Lima first. Uh, yeah, Lima, Lima, Lima. That's what I say. Yeah, he's one SRM. And down he goes. Okay, he lost his the assassin. He seems fresh-ish, though. Yeah. Delta, Delta 5. He ran away. Delta 4. There he comes! Okay. Is he uh, running streaks? What, what's that guy running? Oh no, regular SRMs. Okay. Uh, he hit me with the lasers though. So it is Assassin versus Hunchback. I believe the Assassin will win that. Because he is more mobile and can can dodge the incoming damage. Uh, it also seems that he is out of ammo. Yeah, he's only shooting lasers. No SRMs on his side. Um, aim your shot well. And it, that's an O-Brain, I know. He's almost like... Almost. Yeah, if you can take his mobility off, then it's an easy... or easier game. <laughs> Alright, it's an interesting fight here. The two mediums fighting against each other. Alright. Um, two medium lasers against two medium lasers. But still, the assassin still has more mobility. He can engage and disengage and come in from a better angle. Uh, it's, oh, oh, wait, it's not medium. So he has one medium and two medium pulse. He has even the stronger loadout. Um, take a side, take a side. He has XL. Oh, okay. Okay. Good try. Yeah, it was a good try. It was a good round. And I was having fun in that. So, <laughs> Fatal Orgasm. <laughs> Best name ever. Okay, let's have a look at the end score before we go over to the next one. Man, that was a good round. Um, yeah, we had uh, three killing blows, actually, four kill assists. Uh, we got three kill most damage held, 549 damage with eight components destroyed. That thing shreds if you get behind the enemies. And let's try again.
in the next round. All right, a second game of the day. We are playing the Martin Collective. We are playing Domination. I think that's great. I really, really like that. So uh, what I want to do here is... So I, could, I have two options. I could go to Echo 5 and drop my airstrike and uh, open up some enemies for my machine guns. Or I could just go to the right side and do the usual backstabbing shenanigans. Uh, we have some other piranhas here, of course, because it is day one. Oh, actually, day two for me, because um, the time zone differences. And uh, yeah, a lot of people are running them. Um, I decided for the second one, because yeah, as you can see, piranhas are coming from Echo 5 already. And I think I'm gonna go all the way in the back, in Delta 3, Echo 3, and do a backstab attempt. Let's see. Let's see, my uh, other fish people are coming with me, that's good, that's good to see. Your fish people, group up in Echo 3. Let's see if we can find ourselves in a salt mag. Tasty, tasty salt mag. Oh, there he is. Ready for the Atlas, guys? Let's go. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> okay, disengage, disengage. <laughs> what the frick? Oh my god! That guy! I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! Oh crap! <laughs> oh god! Oh god! No! No! Um, can we have a UAV in Echo 3? Someone? Oh my god! Oh, sorry guys! I'm so sorry! Uh, heavy gauze is down. Ammo explosion or weapon explosion. Let's disengage again. Um, uh, I'm still baffled by that. I'm gonna help out my buddies. Dudes, don't get destroyed. Okay, airstrike and we disengage. Leg him. Can we? Uh, I don't want to get trapped by this guy. Come over here, bro. C come at me. C come at me. Come at me, bro. Oh, no, 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 no. There's somebody else. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna disengage here. I do not want any of that. And again, engaging and disengaging and knowing when to do which is uh, kind of crucial here. Um, this guy, however, we can definitely destroy his leg. Come on! Oh, I can't! Obviously. Let's go for his legs. Oh, he's going for the center torso. No! No! Okay, I'm gonna run now. I'm, I'm dead. I'm 100% dead. The guy is going for me. Yeah. Oh, but that Atlas kill, guys! That Atlas kill was so worth it! <laughs> Man, I should have I should have gone somewhere else. Uh, I don't know what I was doing there. Now, what I wanted to do is, uh, I wanted that kill on that one piranha because his leg was open. And, and then that other guy hunted me down. And again, don't fight face to face with anybody. You won't win it. You definitely won't win it. And I hope it was a good example for you that um, again, if you if you're getting shot, then then just run, run, because you have no armor, literally no armor. So um, what's interesting in that fight, and I didn't know that. Um, um, that's a that's a lesson for me as well. Um, the machine guns. I try to open the legs quickly, and I don't know if it was because of my aim. Or, or because of the DPS, but that guy just destroyed my center torso like it was nothing while I was still grinding on his legs. And the legs, of course, they they showed themselves, um, you know, alternating. Which means that my damage all spread to the left and the right leg equally. Which probably resulted in, again, a bigger bigger splash and um, I couldn't bring him down fast enough. However, he, on, on his side, ground through my center torso like crazy. Maybe it's a better idea in a 1v1 situation to go um, against the torsos directly. To just, to just go ahead and try to destroy the torso of the, of the enemy piranha. Mm. So yeah. <laughs> That's it. You guys, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you that. I, because I, I have so much more piranhas to record. So, uh, let's see how the game goes down. And uh, then that's it. Yeah, we, 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 we got it definitely. Yeah, that storm course did. And we got some more guys over here. But, did you see that? You can establish such a quick advantage for your team by just destroying an assault mech in no time. In no time. And it only took two piranhas here. Holy crap. I don't know if I like that or not. But those, those little fishes, they will stir up the game a lot. Alright, uh, one enemy alive. And he is in the circle. 
There it is. Uh, the Marauder already shot at him. Uh, Echo 5, guys. Echo 5. Or did he just shoot random random stuff? I don't know. What What is it, guys? Talk to each other. Come on, share your information. It helps the whole team. No? Nothing? Okay. And um, we switched perspective again. Is it a piranha on the battlefield? If so, and he gets a good good jump on the mad cat, that mad cat is dead. Oh, there it comes! Acquired. There it comes, Echo, Delta 4, Echo 5, it's piranha, medium lasers. Oh, he's still doing the medium laser approach, that's very interesting as well. That thing can run 6 ER mediums. No heat sinks, uh, no, no, but um, I believe it's only 4 heat sinks you can take. Uh, so your alpha strike brings it to like 60% heat, but it is definitely uh, scary because it's fast and it has alpha strike. Okay, so yeah, this was one of the usual rounds of my of my Piranha experience. Um, you get one thing done and then you die. <laughs> but anyway, we got that thing done and I believe it helped out the team a lot. Uh, we got uh, zero killing blows, but five assists, one KMDD, 263 damage done and no components destroyed. That is your daily dose, everybody. That was the first impression of the Piranha. And I hope you liked the video. If you did, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to support me, go down below to the description. There's the link to my Patreon page. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.